Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI, Episode 10. So this battleship is a bit of a pain. Uh, he, uh, or it, uh, pillaged one of my pearl resources, so I've got to figure out a way to kill it. I've moved my artillery up, but I think it's going to retreat the next turn. Might as well give them a gift. Don't need any more enemies right now. No, oh, it's gonna stay and fight. Okay, we're gonna sink this thing. However beautiful the strategy. You should occasionally look at the results. Okay, let's get to the Rough Riders. Uh, rifling. Sunk. Need more food, need more amenities, New Orleans, Charleston, and... okay. Uh, I was mentioning this in an earlier episode, but I find the vanilla builds of Civ tend to have a problem with the AI not upgrading their units as much. Um, I don't know if it's an issue with game balance and you're being a little bit cautious and not uh, telling the AI to spend the gold, or it's something else. But I I expect it to be uh, patched out. But you know, crossbows in a, in a modern era is not. Uh, good. Although, I think the Congolese might be a little bit behind us in tech. So let's see here. I like this thing here. You can see the little notches. You, you, can, you can tell where we are at. So the Chinese are industrial. We are modern. And the Greeks are actually are way ahead during the atomic era. So the Congolese are slightly behind us. Still have catapults. Okay, I think I should pull back my infantry because refuse. Oh, that's a what? Okay. 
I'm gonna pull it back here. Oh, the Chinese have been trying to do stuff, so I gotta talk to them about that. at the moment. So attacking through here is not a good idea because due to line of sight issues I can't quite get my artillery up so I have to move them around I think and attack from this side but my artillery units are severely damaged here so okay I gotta move this to kill that so I can retreat my infantry. Never criticize a rifleman until you've walked a mile in his shoes. That way, I only understand friendship or scorched earth. Okay, so good. Uh... Don't know why this isn't going up. I wonder if it's because of the siphoning. It actually took the money out per turn rather than a lump sum. We'll have to see that.
Okay, let's build a... Uh... Oh, let's do that first. Can we buy? Uh, yeah. Buy that lighthouse, get some extra housing going. And let's buy a trading unit. One thing I do like about the trade route system as well is it's more dependent on the number of commercial hubs in harbors you have, uh, maybe a couple other things, but it's not as linear as in Civ 5 where it's tied to text. So, you know, every Civ is going to have like eight or nine, and then a few might have more because they build a wonder, and then, you know, Venice will have twice that amount, give or take. Here, it's really, you have to work at it. Like, you know, if you don't focus on commercial hubs, then you won't have the, the trade routes. So it rewards your playstyle. In a, uh, you know, you can kind of gear your playstyle towards um, trade routes. I can't upgrade these to Rough Riders. Oh, that's a that's a uh, disappointment. I, I guess these go into tanks. I hmm. not even cavalry. Just disappointing. How about these guys? Okay, they can become cavalry. I gotta start watching my gold now. I'm having gold issues because of that siphon move. Build a, a rough rider. Oh, let's build a spy. I don't wonder what the Chinese are doing here, but I'm going to park my unit. Park my unit here. Okay, swinging my units around.
you can walk away from a landing, it's a good landing. to my great general. Oh, it's stuck right back here, okay. Like this, this is not good. It's not the towering sails, but the unseen wind that moves a ship. Yeah, this is definitely tougher not to crack than I anticipated. I'm gonna retreat this guy here. Uh, what can I do here? I mean, it's doing the right thing. It's targeting my, uh, <clears throat> it's targeting my artillery units, which is good. I fortify him here. Talk with the Congolese. Maybe they want peace now? They still don't want peace, okay.
Our military is now trained in the way of combining three units into a single army. Mu when they are preparing for war, those who rule by force speak most copiously about peace until they have completed the mobilization process. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I might not, this unit might not survive. We'll take their peace treaty. Oh, okay, they don't want... In, in between turns, they offer it to us, but if we're asking for it, they won't give it to us. Interesting. But we can now combine three of these into one, so we'll uh, move this back here. Oh, well, we can't yet? Let's see. There we go, form army. Okay, so we have our great scientists. Now we're going to... Oh, we have one here too, so let's use them. Got to retreat this thing, or I'm gonna lose it. <clears throat> oh, 
Let me retreat it. Nice. Three ticks. Oh, they're going to give us cities, okay. We'll take it. Which city should I get? Oh, I see. I see. So they seed claim on these two cities I've already taken, which I think removes the uh, occupation penalty. Interesting mechanic there. So I didn't really get any cities, but I got something removed from each of the cities. Uh, let's get a... Okay, we're going on there. Transfer to Washington. I'm fine with ending the war. I, I wouldn't mind have uh, taken an extra city, but I need to uh, build up my armies and focus internally. Send that back to Valletta. OK, 
Okay, I think this is a good place to end our recording. Thank you very much for watching. I'll, we'll see you next time.